Welcome to the No Excuses Ladies Show, episode number 27. I am Eva Eckert and I am your host. So some of you know me from the well-known and recognized in Rockland County, New York, Peak Physique Training Center, Bootcamp and Boxing Facility. If some of you just showing up today for the first time, welcome and thank you for joining for the episode number 27. No excuses, ladies. Weekly show is for all of you ladies out there who have been struggling with making too many excuses and find yourself feeling unhappy and unsuccessful in life. This weekly show will teach you how to apply the no excuses mindset in all areas of your life with the foundation of health and wellness so you can succeed in life, move the needle forward with the necessary tools provided by me, your coach. No Excuses Tribe is welcoming all the badass ladies out there and those of you who would like to become a badass in real life. I am here to help you, support you, guide you, and lead you to your full potential. I will teach you the power of self-belief, self-motivation, discipline, and mastermind alliance so you can stop making the excuses and create the life you truly deserve and desire by being the best version of you. So now you know what the No Excuses Ladies is all about. It's just once a week. I'm showing up here for you, but you can get in touch with me every single day by subscribing to the YouTube channel, and and watching the previous episodes yes so everything is right there on the link so thank you again again for you guys watching and joining me this is awesome this is honor i feel grateful for all of you showing up and giving me your time because i know that the life gets super busy and uh, it's overwhelming a lot of time what's going on out here in this world so uh, my gift to you is a 20 minutes call that you can schedule with me by clicking the link below. I'm gonna attach the link to this video. So the, the link right there, you can schedule your call and we can get on the phone. And what's the coaching is all about? That one-on-one -on -one coaching, the things that you've been struggling with, because everyone has some kind of a struggle. And if you're looking to find this balance in your mind, body, and business, I am the coach for you. So make sure you're scheduling that 20 minutes call with me at any time. Now. Now, uh, last week we were discussing how the personal challenge can boost your own personal reflection and performance, ability to learn about yourself. I hope that you watched that whole episode. I think you find some great uh, tips on, on life, in life, because we were doing the 24-hour challenge. It was crazy. And now it's another crazy challenge that I want to talk to you about today that we actually had to do. And the challenge was all about moving. How simple is that? So some of you think that my life is to go forward and push forward and knock the obstacles down like this. So, uh, yes, as you see, the background is different. If you've been watching my episodes previously, the background looks different. Now I still see on YouTube shows actually some stuff on the floor that has not been hanged yet. It's been absolutely crazy past few days. And that's what I want to talk to you about today because we're going to be discussing awareness. That's what really this episode is all about. And let me tell you, I was so close to actually postpone this episode, not even do this episode because we didn't move move completely we are like halfway through the move we uh, it's it's crazy it's not completed yet and it's and i've been trying to keep the same schedule and it's just was a little bit too much but then i thought you know this channel is all about no excuses and i absolutely love showing up for you and i hope that you feel the same showing up for me and watching these videos and please, please make comments and make participation, ask me questions because this engage us in really getting to know each other. That's one thing. So, so I've, I, 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 I thought I will be really missing you and I will not feel right. So that was really the first step in self-awareness, but let me tell you um, how, how this all thing started with really thinking about that topic. You see, I even dressed differently today, totally in our, my workout gear because 
uh, honestly, that would be no time between squeezing everything in, the workout had to be done, and other things, and they just deliver something. Now they're going to be delivering other things. I have to go to a different location. So I just wanted to show up and be here. And that's what I always talk to you about. Just show up. It's not about being perfect, but it's about showing up and being consistent, right? That's what we always talk about. And that's where I want to engrave in you the consistency. So when when we start moving, if you've moved before, uh, you know what I'm talking about, especially if it's a move that you accumulate. You've been somewhere for a while and older you get, you accumulate more things so if you've been living for instance 10 or 15 or 20 years in one location if you would have to move think about how many things you would have probably unnecessary accumulated throughout the time and we never realize this till actually the move comes when you start going through things and realize wow we accumulate so much junk but there are valuable things that are beautiful things uh, you know we we open up things that we totally have forgotten that was a really cool thing cool reminder to look for things and get some things like uh, it, it's good to look for those things and get rid of the junk and things that you really don't need and pull up certain things that bring more value and and something that maybe was pushed to the side or you know that reminds you of certain things so i reorganized my office as you see i have some cool things behind me i have like album with really trips that somebody a special made it for me i have my friends and my family more organized than ever before my desk was always very good but i wanted to bring it up a little bit more right so that was the self-awareness number one that i was like wow we live and we, we we really are surrounded by so many things when we collect and collect and collect uh, instead of pausing and seeing wow i have so much right but not only that, the clearing the clutter and throwing up things or putting things into the storage felt so good. It felt like refreshing to me. It was something so good and so well needed, even though I really don't like moving, even though the freak things different way that I love to do that, but I really do not like. I don't know who, does any of you like to move? Does any of you really enjoy it? Because if you do, let me know the next time I'm gonna move. And I know that we'll have to move one more time. I say this is the final move because we have to stay here only for a year and then we gotta, uh, we gotta go somewhere else. But this is it, so yes, let me know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the self-awareness uh, came in so many different ways uh, throughout that move. Like, uh, because the schedule has changed, we were working crazy hours, moving stuff. Or we, would, we would get up early, very early, and go to sleep very late because I don't know like how you are, but with me, I like to have mission accomplished. I do not like to leave things um, not completed. So if I start my office, I am on a mission and I will be putting, reorganizing things and I wanted to get it done the same day. I do not like to put things to the next day. That There, there are certain things that it just comes with excitement, something fresh, something vigorous, something awesome, right? That awesome vibe that you can create something. That's me. I don't know how it's for you, but for me, it's like this. And because of the crazy hours, the cra crazy schedule, uh, moving stuff, carrying stuff, lifting stuff. I'm not saying that I'm a mover, but I had to do a lot of lifting work. Like we were, we had to arrange the whole gym for us. And I'm going to show you later. If you want to check it out, make sure that you going into the Instagram and check the stories and uh, you can check out how the gym looks uh, right now. It looked fantastic before, but right now, again, got that refreshing uh, page on it, right? But because the schedule has changed, we were, I was drinking crazy amount of water because obviously you have to stay hydrated when you lift, when you move. But I think the amount of calories overall was not enough. And, you know, I would get lightheaded and I would get super hot. And I start thinking how, you, you know, my AM routine was changed. 
how my PM routine was changed. For the three or four days, I was literally not writing, not journaling for three or four days from these hectic days. I did not write. And I always teach you write, write, write. But we were going so, that bot should be like, oh, excuse. We were going so late that it didn't come into my head. But then later, awareness came and like, wow, this, this whole schedule has been changed. And I do not like that. I do not like to be everything organized the way how it's supposed to. You know, everything was scheduled and things like that. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about. When when I start feeling literally super tired, not enough sleep. And then I thought how so many of you, so many out there doing this, this exactly this thing on a regular basis, not getting enough sleep, uh, going, staying on your phone at nighttime, watching and uh, scrolling through Facebook, scrolling through the screen, staying up. Remember, when you in front of the screen, those are uh, special um, uh, rays and vibes going through your brain that will keep you up. So remind, I just want to remind you this, that Overall, this is unhealthy. And uh, that's how I felt that I was so extremely tired. And I'm thinking, if so many of you living that life, it's so, you're hurting yourself. It's so unhealthy for you. I'm not saying that you're doing the move, but maybe you're living your life in such a chaotic way of almost someone else's life. You always on someone else's agenda you're always answering the calls you're always helping someone i'm not saying do not help but just doing the things that extend your day that you're not going to sleep at scheduled time that you're staying up looking at the videos that you just working yourself so hard that you're struggling with the energy let me tell you after two days three days my body when i move my arm the whole floor is shaking. That's why the camera is shaking. Can you imagine? My head felt so uh, tired and exhausted, kind of foggy. I did not have almost like clear thinking. And I thought, that's so hard. And so many people do that. They ride themselves on these waves of such an exhaustion or working so extremely hard. And we got to pause and we're going to take a break. And that's when the self-awareness came. And I said, you know what? As much as I wanted to have it done, I stopped myself and I said, I don't need to finish that, that, uh, that, that section today. I can finish this section tomorrow because my health and my well-being is the most important thing. My is most important thing. My schedule eating is the most important thing. So also what I've realized is so easy when the life throws at you uh, so many crazy things that you, it's it, it can pull you away from your focus and from your discipline life. So my thing, my self-awareness for you is that have those disciplines have these routines, have these habits, because when you do that, when something happens in your life, you're going to have immediately self-awareness that, wow, this is not how it's supposed to be. This is kind of hurting me. This is not the schedule that I need to have. So that's my self-awareness. That's how the self-awareness came. Thank you guys actually for joining me. I see guys logging in on all these different social media right now. And what else is, is there? Like uh, control what's controllable because um, we had scheduled movers, right? I will give you an example. They're supposed to come and the situation comes in and they show up, but they cannot do everything. They have to show up the next day. And then you could, I could have been stressed out and freak out and like, I'm not on time and everything. I, obviously, I want to I wanna finish. But whatever happens in my outside, in my environment, it's not going to control me. But I would only, I was only able to see this 
because I was such a freak about organization and discipline and scheduling my food and my workouts and everything else and stepping away from it, like not even working out, eating healthy. Yes, we were eating healthy. There's no question about it. It's just, it was not enough calories. Uh, stepping away from the from the workouts and these routines was like wow i missed this so much and i felt grateful all also for being so committed for being so um disciplined and that's what i'm calling for all of you today guys create your disciplines create your habit because staying Creating self-awareness, that's one thing. Then becoming self-aware and staying there, that's the key to happiness, to success, uh, to really joyful life, and to a fit and healthy life. Because let me tell you, if I, if I didn't have that ring in my head, I would keep on going. But this was such an out-of-balance thing that... I was so glad to experience this, you know? So if you having a trouble with creating your schedule, I know that so many of you have a, a, a trouble, schedule a call with me, fill out, click on the link, fill out the application for the MBB, Mind, Body, and Business. If you don't have a business, no problem, Mind and Body. And let's get on the phone and let's create that bubbly schedule for you. Let's create that schedule that it's just directly for you based on what you're dealing with. Because a lot of people think that not having a schedule, it's going to be easy, easier life. Absolutely not. Now, let me tell you, if something is on your schedule, on your calendar in blocks of time, it's going to happen. That's number one. Number two, it's just, it can, like, think about it. If you have 10 different things that you need to accomplish, and you're going to work only on one thing every single day for so many hours. You're not going to accomplish all of them. But if you set blocks time, like this hour I'm working on this, this hour I'm working on this, then I'm working out, then I have to eat healthy, then maybe I have to pick up kids, then maybe I have to take make dinner. That's maybe half an hour that I need to write something or create an email or autoresponder or whatever there is, marketing campaign. You're going to have these blocks of time and they're going to help you. And that's how we've been thriving in the businesses. And that's what I'm going to teach you. But the best way to get a coach on the phone, get me on the phone, and that's what we're going to do together. That's what I did just the other day with some one of my private coaching clients. And uh, just, to, just to give you a heads up and an update, there is a, another level of coaching that you can spend one day, one-on-one -on -one with me, when you fly to California for a day and from the early morning till the late at night, you're going to experience the life and we're going to create some habits for you hands on. How awesome is that? Can you imagine? So there is a full agenda that it's plugged in to your one day coaching with us, uh, with me. Uh, Steve has his clients. I have my clients and it's going to be fantastic. Not only I'm going to go. Uh, we're gonna work out together. We're gonna give you the one-on-one -on -one boxing session, boot camp, eating, planning. I will teach you how to make the a special concoction for your pre-workout, post-workout. But it's going to be an amazing coaching one-on-one, -on -one, sitting down in my office and doing that one-on-one -on -one coaching. I am so excited. I have some people already uh, texting me and asking me about it. So super excited for this that we're going to have some uh, clients coming in here. And so let's do this, guys. You need this. You need just get me. Let's get on the phone. Let's do this. Let's talk about it and discover you and your health and your wellness and your happiness. And again, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You guys have all the information. And if you have, if you need any help, again, reach out because Staying in silence is not going to get you anywhere. You're going to be exactly in the same spot as you were before. So we need to create new habits, new awareness, new paths for you, new ways of doing things. 
And like when we moved in, I just decided just the other day, I'm like, I have to, I'm, I'm going to be adding certain new habits to me. Like uh, behind me, you can see I'm going to have actually a beautiful natural candle that I'm going to be lighting up in the morning when I'm going to be doing my meditation right here. And so it, it, little by little adding new habits that I want to actually consistently add it. And that's what I can teach you. So if you have that habit or you have something that you cannot plug it into your schedule, trust me, we're going to do this. There is no other way around it. And again, we are here to help you. You can subscribe for our uh, live, um, live YouTube channel, Peak Physique and Why, follow the workouts have workouts with a click of one one button on the application we are all down for you anyway guys thank you so much for joining and again looking forward for your input for your self-awareness for for your moments that you had and what really happened how did you became a self-aware and what was really significant for you anyway i will talk to you guys later have a nice